Welcome, everyone, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the mound for Pittsburgh in this one, Marco Gonzalez. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. The one-two. Swang and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Adley Rutschman. Two and one now. And there's a strike. Side. Reynolds on the run. Nabs it. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. The sluggers of this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, but maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Anthony Santander at the plate. That to right. Sawinski brings it in. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Back after this on the show. here at PNC Park. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Dean Kremer. What's the word on him? Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter, and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh. And foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield i gotta get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so i think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base so a foul ball makes it one and two one down base is empty this struck him out looking well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Now batting key Brian Hayes. And here it comes. And Don't another watch. ball. Disconnect.
fought off foul. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Still two and two after the foul ball. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. That one to first. O'Hearn oh. takes it himself, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Ryan O'Hearn on the ground to third. Hayes to first, and quickly one away in the second. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. The wind of the pitch. Right side, hard hit. Throw over to Telez. Two up, two down at the top of the second. And now it's Austin Hayes. And that's oh. off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Yeah. That clips the corner. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. That one misses, and it's three and two. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. High fly ball out to center field. On the move. And that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. A 1 1. Slapped foul. The 1 2. Just that missed. missed. That's, That's a good take. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire boot. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now it's the right fielder, Jack Solinsky. One out, base is empty. That one oh, missed. That Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 2-2. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Drill out towards left center field. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Around second now, going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first row of the bucket. So one gone with a runner at third. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Henry Davis. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Base hit, and a run comes in. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one pulled foul. And the righty deals. On the ground, two ball. Feed to second, that's one. And that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. Here in Pittsburgh, onto the third inning. Now the third baseman, Ramon Urias. That one That's inside, the and a count two and one. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece. And stays alive. And now the lefty. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's got a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the girl straight to it. That's great work right there. And the batter now, Jordan Westberg. This one popped up. Cruz moving under it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. So up next, Cedric Mullins. And that one sliced foul. Man at second. Pitch in the dirt, and it's two and two. Another 2-2 upcoming. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Sets him down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. So next to hit for Baltimore, Adley Rutschman. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Urias stands at second with two gone. Next offering way off the plate. Keep the at-bat alive. Man on second, two down. Stays alive. And yeah, that's outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Fouled off again. 
And it remains three and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Two outs downstairs, oh. and it misses ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So digging in, Gunnar Henderson. And that'll load oh, the bases. Oh, well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The one-two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at PNC Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Michael A. Taylor. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Here's the second baseman. The 1-1. One -one. And oh. another ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Went right after him there, Singy. No messing around. Three pitches right there. Three really good fastballs in that at bat. But what stood out is all of them in a different part of the zone. He started them away. You look out over the plate as a hitter, and then he busts you in. You're not quick enough to be able to pull the trigger and turn on it. And then he finished up in the zone. Good velocity. Caught the top part of that strike zone. That's a great example of how you mix your locations. Just as important as mixing speeds. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. Taylor rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. Comes through with the RBI. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Brian Reynolds here. And a 1-1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hayes hauls it in for the out. And there are two outs. Keep Ryan Hayes, the next pirate to hit. Ball to strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. 
And the inning is over. But the Pirates strike on this run scoring double. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan O'Hearn. And another ball. You know, these Orioles just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That's towards center. Makes the grab one away. Ryan Mountcastle getting ready to hit. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. One really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. Ground ball right side, and that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball go deep. So up next, Austin Hayes. The pitch. And that one sliced foul. The Orioles trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. And there's two away. Just a little cut fastball on the inside part of the blade and couldn't get the barrel to it at all. Just kind of tied him up there right under the hands. Tells me he was probably looking soft away and just wasn't able to adjust. And now here is Ramon Arias. A one, two. That's the ball. Two, two. Grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Westberg. Ball to strike, the pitch. Out to short, Cruz. On the run, sends it over to first. And that is that. Orioles strand a couple. They trail it here, two nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Hard hit, right side. Over to first, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jack Sawinski digs in now. Outside corner for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Fights it off, he'll see another. One down, base is empty. On the ground, oh. and that's just foul. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a bat. Cold strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. That was a pretty funny bat right there. But you kind of hate to see a long battle like that end on a questionable call. I think he was right in letting it go. Frustrating result after he fought so hard at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. 
kicks and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. That's the ball. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Two out, space is empty. Line drive, makes the grab, and that's the inning. Down in order, go the Pirates, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullen. Ball right side, and that chance handled. And the leadoff man it. set down in their half of the fifth. Now the catcher up to hit, Adley Rutschman. Strike two. a two-strike pitch and he'll see another and he deals that ah, was a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger and next for the Orioles Gunnar Henderson One is fouled off. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is outside. Two, two. two outs. Swing, and it's a flare down the right field line. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Marco Gonzalez will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher on now, Roansi Contreras. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Man at second. That one ripped, but foul. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So swings and misses, and that'll do it. And the Orioles lead one, and they're down two nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Rowdy Telez. Line of the pitch. Line drive, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So digging in, Michael A. Taylor. 
The next ball. offering misses. And that's ball three. Telez gets his lead at first with nobody out. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. O'Hearn makes the catch, and there's one gone. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Now it's the second baseman. Here comes a pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And at first, one away. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right into the plate. And he grounds one to the right side. To second, pulls it off the bag. You're out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Dean Kremer won't go any further, and he kept him in it even though he's in line for the loss right now. New arm when we come back. Jonathan Heasley gets the ball now, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. to the top of the lineup. Here's O'Neal Cruz. The shortstop uh -oh. takes a ball. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Right-hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Lifted in the air out to left. Hayes has it sized up. Hayes squeezes it. First and second with two outs. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit the pitch. And the breaking ball drops in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Pirates strand a couple, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. And another ball. You know, these Orioles putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the board. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at-bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Left-hand batter waits. And that one upstairs. Outside, oh, oh, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. 
Bounce to third. Hayes. Fire to second. How about that double play? As a former player, watching five four three double plays brings back some of the It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. So next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Hot shot to third. Hayes to first, and that is the inning. Nothing across here this half. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Pirates 2 and the Orioles nothing. Yo, everybody's getting geek, bro. Stop the hate and let them neeks know that we turn the club into a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. And we're back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Just no, off the out. outside edge. You know, these Pirates really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. That one fouled off. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Pitch. Good job to fight that one off. On the ground to short, Henderson. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. Right-hander kicks deals. Cut. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. And here another ball. Hayes aboard here at first with nobody out. On the ground a second, might be two. Throws to Henderson. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now at the plate, Jack Sawinski. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swings through that one for strike two. When we're an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Stays alive. The pitch. That one no, that just missed. misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Now move to first. Oh, Back guys. standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Heasley picks oh. over. McCutcheon gets back easily. The one two. Hey. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is the third out of the inning. Pirates leave one. They're up to nothing. Here at PNC Park, top of inning number seven. Now the third baseman, Ramon Urias. And that skips in the dirt. Two. 
just Down missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a pitch. Bounced out to short. Cruz. Tosses to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Here's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So a lefty out of the pen, Ryan Barucki. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So the batting order turns over, and into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. Tying run at the plate, runner on the go, pitch kicks away. And now, a man into scoring position. The tying run at the plate. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Now the lefty spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Man at second. Still two and two after the foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love it. Out towards right center field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He won around. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to Two step one. up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. That one handled. They cut the force, and that is the inning. Orioles strand a couple. They trail things here, 2-0. Set for the last half of the seventh. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez. Next nope. pitch is Two downstairs. Balls. Two balls, one strike. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a ball lifted left field. One down. And now the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. A wide to kick the pitch. That's the ball. Wouldn't chase yep. that time. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And there's ball four. Now it's the second baseman. The pitch. Out towards left center. Mullins in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Two outs. Ball. Oh. Two balls, one strike. Fouls one off, two and two. And the pitch. And Count another full. ball. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And ball, ball four, four to a board. Base. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Brian Reynolds. And that's, no, that's, off that's the, the ball. inside edge, and it's two and one. strike Taylor on second Cruz on at first with two down and that's a fair ball headed for the plate he'll score and they're up by three it's a run on the board and picks up an RBI really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws so next to the plate for pittsburgh key brian hayes misses ball. inside now two balls in a strike one. He deals. That's hard hit on the line. Hayes makes the grab. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Colin Holderman. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Anthony Santander. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Not two, close two. with that one. It's two and two. Activity in Pittsburgh's bullpen. David Bednar getting ready to go. There's ball a ball. Count. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw over to Telez. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. So up next, Ryan O'Hearn. One down, base is empty. 
And no, that's one to one. Oh. Kicks and fires. And a ground ball to first. A sliding stop to throw, and they get the out. Space is empty. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit. Next Good offering one. is down low. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The Pirates leading by three, and we're in the top of the eighth. In the air, right field, Swinski sizing this one up. He makes the grab, and that is that. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Tate. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now the DH, Andrew McCutcheon. What you now? And a swing and a miss. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Jack Sawinski. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. On the ground at first. And foul ball. Got him. That's the second out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And a swing and a miss. One and two. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. And that oh, just that. misses. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Check swing on the 2-2, two -two. appeal to first. Nope, he held back. In the air, right side of the infield. O'Hearn under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Bucks go down quietly, but they lead it 3 nothing. David Bednar. Same opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And here is Austin Hayes. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires to first, That's and the that. leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And he deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now only one out remaining. 
I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the bat alive. down to their final out. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Two outs. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. And he's got it, ball game. And the Pirates playing the win here behind some great pitching and defense. This is just a nice win, three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a blue for base hit and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching, timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one, three nothing our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.